Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. So that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pause now to hear and to receive your word for our lives. We pray that you push aside all distractions so that we can focus on you. Teach us the heart of Jesus. And then move us to serve with the heart of Jesus. We pray this in his name. Amen. This morning we're continuing our sermon series of looking at the core values of Grace Lutheran Church. The core values are what make us who we are as Grace Lutheran Church. We live our common purpose of transforming lives through Christ, through these core values. These core values bring to life this purpose of transforming lives through Christ. So the core value that we're going to be considering today and, and, uh, and pondering and how we are a part of, of this core value is serving with the heart of Jesus. Serving with the heart of Jesus. The people here at Grace, you... You, the people of grace, know the joy of serving with the heart of Jesus. It's important to us here at Grace that we live out our faith in very real and meaningful life-giving ways as we serve other people. And we do this in, in so many ways that, that truly care for people, that show them God's loving care for their life, that bring them support and encouragement, help, and healing. For us, I think it starts out with us seeking and learning the heart of Jesus. Now, through our many Bible studies and small group studies, through our devotion time at home, we search out what is the heart of Jesus? Where is his, his passion, his care? How does he serve people? How does he go out to, to reach out to, to people who are hurting? We look at what is important. What is important to Jesus so that we can join Jesus where he is in ministry. So we can also reflect the heart of Jesus through our lives and through the ministry that God calls us to as well. 
So this morning in our gospel reading, we heard Jesus call four fishermen to follow him, to become his disciples. Jesus starts out his ministry by inviting other people to come alongside him, to join him in bringing to the world the kingdom of God. Bringing to the world and to people's lives the reign of God's love. Now this is an incredible invitation, if you think about it, for a rabbi to call fishermen and the one who will come to be, be known as the Messiah <laughs> to call these fishermen to come follow him. They certainly were not the most qualified. They didn't have experience in, in being uh, disciples, of following a, a rabbi. Uh, their education had, had ended and they pursued the, uh, the career of being fishermen. So now this, this young rabbi calls them to leave their fishing and to follow him, to come and be his students, his disciples, and to even partner with him, to partner with him in the incredible work of bringing God's kingdom to life for more and more people. This is an opportunity that the fishermen couldn't pass up. I don't think they fully understood the significance of, of who Jesus was or what this meant for them and for their lives. But they were drawn to Jesus and they followed his call to be his disciples, to learn from him, to learn what it means to live in God's love for their lives. And then how to express, how to show God's love to other people, meeting them where they are in life with their hurts and pains and struggles. We have this same incredible invitation. No matter who we are, we are also invited to become a disciple of Jesus, to study him, to learn from his life, to learn what it means to, to live in, in God's love, to take that in to, to who we are, and then to uh, join with Jesus, to participate with him in bringing God's kingdom, God's reign of love to more and more people, to go out to their lives where they are in their struggles and hurts and to serve them with the heart of Jesus. It's really incredible when we think about it. The great invitation that we have to be a part of Jesus and what he is doing in this world. But it's something that we do here at Grace and through Grace by the power of the Holy Spirit. We are a part of the ministry of Jesus. <clears throat> so how would you describe the heart of Jesus? How would you describe the heart of Jesus? From what you know from your your discipleship, from your study of Jesus, uh, hearing his, the stories, reading the Gospels, who he goes to, how he cares, how he expresses God's love. How would you describe the heart of Jesus? And right now, if you want to, you can, you can write down a, a word or a phrase on a bulletin or on a notepad, something that, that comes to mind that express, expresses the heart of Jesus. How do you see Jesus showing compassion? How do you see Jesus serving? And then I'm going to have us do something we don't usually do on Sunday mornings. I'm going to let you share your thoughts. Even say it out loud. All right, anybody want to share with us? Uh, how do you see, how do, how do you describe the heart of Jesus? How do you see Jesus showing compassion? Uh, what is maybe one of your favorite Bible stories of, of Jesus caring for someone? How do you see the heart of Jesus at work? He's humble. He's humble. Yeah, Jesus is humble, our, our humble servant, uh, living a life of great, great humility, uh, even to the point of, of washing feet, washing the feet of his disciples, a nasty, disgusting job that even the lowest slave uh, dreaded. But Jesus did it willingly. Yeah, our humble, humble servant. Not to mention even 
death on a cross for us. Right. Healing. Healing. Right. Uh, in our gospel reading this morning, we heard about Jesus healing, going to people uh, who were sick and diseased, curing every disease and, and every sickness. He had a real uh, heart, a real passion for caring for people who were, were sick and hurting and diseased and going to them and, and bringing them a cure and relief from what was hurting them. Yeah. Compassion and acceptance of all. Yeah, great compassion. Uh, <clears throat> we hear about Jesus as our, our good shepherd, having compassion for all the people and uh, an acceptance of all. He even ate meals with people who were called sinners. <laughs> That's acceptance, isn't it? Even going to the home of, of the despised tax collectors, sharing a meal with them and including them in the, in the community, including them even in the kingdom of God. Uh, there was no, no restriction, no limits to who Jesus would go to. Uh, no one was excluded. Everyone was invited to be a part of what Jesus was doing, to be a part of the community, to be a part of the church, to be a part of the work of the kingdom of God. Right? I heard some others. Fearless. 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 Yeah. Yeah, his faith in God... His trust in God was so strong that he, he didn't let other things bother him. He didn't get, wasn't scared. He was bold and determined and, and powered by, by his trust in God and, and the Holy Spirit working through him. Lily? Teacher. teacher, yeah. The great teacher. We study his parables, his teachings. Uh, coming up is the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. We hear Jesus' great teachings. Yeah, how to live, how to live our life as as people of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inclusive. Inclusive. Everybody's everybody has a home with Jesus. Everybody's included. Mm -hmm. Connie. Pure. Yeah, pure. We think about Jesus as the pure, pure Lamb of God. Right. Yeah. Patient. Patient. <laughs> yeah, we sure can learn from. From Jesus' patience. Yeah, even with the disciples when they are slow to, to understand or slow to catch on, uh, we see the, the patience of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Unselfish, forgiving. Yes, how desperate we are uh, to receive forgiveness for our lives. When we can really fail. We can really make a mess of things. We can hurt, uh, hurt people in our relationships. Uh, we are really desperate for forgiveness and we receive it full and complete in Jesus, don't we? Karen? Loving. Loving, yes. Yeah, we think of the, the love that we see in Jesus is called agape love. It's a, a love that is, is serving and caring. Uh, God, a God type of love or, or a type of love we might see in uh, parents or grandparents as they care for uh, little children. That's the kind of love we see in Jesus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. We've um, covered a lot of, um, of the heart of Jesus, how he's loving and caring and compassionate, inclusive, uh, how he goes out to people, even to lepers who were forced to be outside of the, the community because of their disease, uh, that he goes out to them where they are, even touches them in order to heal them and bring them back to the community and bring them back to a healthy and whole life. Uh, how we think about how Jesus welcomes even the little children, goes out of his way to bless and to hold and care for, for little children. Everyone is included, everyone is invited to be a part of the family of God, to be a part of the ministry that Jesus is bringing to the world. And that, in, that includes us. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. We could, we could go all morning, couldn't we, describing the heart of Jesus and, and his ministry. And what's great is, is how we are invited to share in this. Where we see Jesus uh, showing his heart, serving with compassion and care, we're invited to do the same thing. To, to join in with him in showing this agape type love, this, 
this great even sacrificial type love. Uh, so what, what way are you serving with the heart of Jesus? In your unique uh, life, with your talents, with your abilities, and as you are guided by God's Holy Spirit, how are you sharing in the ministry of Jesus? How are you serving with the heart of Jesus? It, it may be at home, uh, maybe here within the ministries of grace, maybe out in the community, uh, partnering with uh, one of our helping agencies or volunteering in the schools. So many ways that we are serving uh, with the heart of Jesus, joining Jesus in the ministry that, that he's doing. And uh, maybe to save some time, rather than each one of you saying out loud how you serve with the heart of Jesus, why don't we say it all together at the same time? <laughs> all right? So I want you to put in your mind just one way that you serve with the heart of Jesus. One way you serve with the heart of Jesus, either at, at home, here at Grace, out in the community, or out in the world. Think of one thing, and I'm going to count to three, and then we'll all say it out loud at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, very good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that great? The, the variety of things that we are a part of. Uh, the many, many wonderful ways that we are serving with the heart of Jesus. Yeah. Making a difference in this world. Making a difference in people's lives as we care for them with this great love of God. Good job. Let's also consider our ministry together here at Grace Lutheran Church. All these individual gifts and talents and passions, ways that we're showing the heart of Jesus, as we bring them together as Grace Lutheran Church, uh, we're also making a great difference in this community and in each other's lives and beyond. One of the easiest ways to see how we do this is to look at how we share our financial resources. A quick look at our budget for 2020 really describes what's important to us here at Grace and ways that we serve uh, within and beyond Grace with the heart of Jesus. Uh, just listen to a, a list of our, our social ministry agencies that we partner with here at Grace that, that uh, we share our financial resources with. Uh, one is FISH. It's a ministry that provides transportation to doctor's appointments. Uh, Four Season Compassion for Life, the Rescue Mission, Interfaith Chaplaincy Program, Interfaith Assistance Ministry, Safe Light, Habitat for Humanity, Council on Aging, Housing Assistance Corporation, Ministry of Hope, American Red Cross, El Centro, Living Waters Lutheran Church in Cherokee, Thrive Clubhouse, Blue Ridge Prison Ministry, the Free Clinics, Boys and Girls Club, the Storehouse, Pisgah Legal Services, Children and Family Resource Center, and Homes for Youth. 51,000 $810 are divided among these ministries from grace. Our support of these agencies and ministries is a significant way that we're serving with the heart of Jesus. As we pool our financial resources together and we can send it out into the community and really make a difference as we partner with these agencies. And in addition to this is our Grace Foundation. Our Grace Foundation also gives financial resources to support many of these same ministries. So we're known in Hendersonville as being a, a leader in supporting community agencies. And we're certainly not the biggest church in Hendersonville, but we're uh, clearly close to the top of, of our generosity in giving financial resources out into the community. And it's not only our money that we're giving, but it's also uh, through our volunteers. So many of you go out into the community and, and serve with, with Safe Light, with Habitat for Humanity, Interfaith Assistance Ministry, and all these others that we listed that you are a giving of your time and your energy, your passion, your talents uh, to be a part of these ministries that are, are caring for people in our community. And our support is not limited to this community. We're also 
partners with, throughout North Carolina, through our North Carolina Synod, and a part of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. With our World Hunger Appeal, uh, eat the first Sunday of each month we collect offerings for the World Hunger Appeal, and we've grown to be one of the uh, recognized congregations in our ELCA of giving to the World Hunger Appeal. Uh, it doesn't stop there. We also contribute to disaster response as well as our supporting our missionaries, young adults in global mission. And we partner with other Christian denominations that we share full communion, uh, our full communion partners. And the more we're joining together with others in the body of Christ, the more we're serving people throughout the world. The more people are getting real help and hope and healing through, through us as we're serving with the heart of Jesus and partnering together. Uh, we're making a difference in the world and how desperate our world is for, for us to be the body of Christ, to truly care for people. Uh, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful that we are a part of what God is doing in this world uh, to make this a better place, a, a better world for us. <clears throat> and a new and growing aspect of our ministry here at Grace is the justice and advocacy ministry. In this ministry, we live out the, one of the quotes I like from Desmond Tutu. Uh, he says, We need to stop just pulling people out of the river. We need to go upstream and find out why they're falling in. Right? Right? So we're finding out more and more ways that we can not only care for people who are in crisis, but also look at how can we prevent the cause of this crisis, even through our justice and advocacy. So it's a part of our culture here at Grace Lutheran Church to, to teach all ages the joy of serving with the heart of Jesus. It even starts with our preschool. Our preschool kids do service projects. Uh, one thing they do is, is make uh, hats, uh, simple hats that they tie together to make for, for other children. Uh, they collect money for other special causes and as well as for caring for animals. Uh, we engage our children and our youth in service projects and let them experience the joy of serving. Uh, just this past Monday, for example, our children and youth and adults joined together for the Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. And there they uh, put together bags of food for the storehouse to distribute. Uh, Tom told me this morning that they prepared 126 bags, and in each bag is eight servings of rice and beans. So that's already being distributed in our Hendersonville community. Maybe you saw on the, on the news uh, some of our kids and youth and adults uh, being a part of this, uh, this Martin Luther King Day day of service. So our middle school youth, our high school youth, uh, each year when we have a retreat, uh, it includes an afternoon where we go out into the community and, and serve and care for other people. Each summer we offer our high school students the opportunity to go on a mission trip. We now call it service learning trip where they serve with the heart of Jesus. So it's a part of who we are. It's a part of our culture. It's part of who we are at Grace Lutheran Church to serve others through projects and ministries that bring real help, that bring hope, that bring healing as we serve with the heart of Jesus. So here at Grace, as we grow together in, in who we are as disciples of Jesus, as we learn more and more about uh, Jesus' ministry, his passion, his heart, and as we join in what we see Jesus doing, we partner with him in bringing God's reign of love to life for more and more and more people as we serve with the heart of Jesus. So thank you. Thank you for your partnership in this ministry. Thank you for serving with the heart of Jesus. Amen.